course, we're gearing mm -hmm. up for you know a fun weekend with our families. Our hearts and minds are really yes. with what's happening here. And so um, we were talking this morning in our newsroom, mm -hmm. a lot of the folks, some of the folks that survived these flash floods were talking and trying to educate people. This wasn't just a turnaround, don't no. drown situation where they went into the water and risked it. The flash floods sweep in. And so yes. I know that Shelby was going mm -hmm. to take this up and kind of explain it to us because a lot of us have never seen that before. Yes, so um, I'm from Houston and that's one thing that I grew up learning was the difference between just regular floods, that's where you turn around, don't drown, and flash flooding. And flash flooding basically comes when you're just going out and about and you just see that wave of water. So I wanted to start off with rain totals once again to just kind of show you how much rain we actually got and that will play a factor into the flash floods. Now it started raining sad or it started raining just after midnight here in San Antonio and what we saw was anywhere from about few inches in the southern portion of Bear County to even we had one report of eight inches near Holotus and this was a good amount of rain that we very much well needed but it fell in just a few six, seven hours of at a time. So this much rain did cause that potential for that flash flooding, especially near Vital Creek. Now it does drain into the Salado Creek, which also continue to have heavy rainfall rates at times. Now here's a little arrow in a little loop of where it actually fell. Now it did cross over in just under 410, which where we saw those cars getting uh, taken away. But once again, that's just along Bidal Creek, that's where we saw the five and a half to six to even near seven inches of rain at times near the Bidal Creek. Now this is a look at the water levels just a little further south. I tried to look at the Bidal Creek or even Salado Creek at 410, but the river gauge actually got taken out with the water. Now this is just a further down around Salado Creek at loop uh, 13 and they actually did get to major flood stage at time just under 25 feet. Now the good news is is it has crested and we're back into regular levels, but this was a scene that many areas saw yesterday afternoon. We saw Leon Springs have some heavy rain. We saw areas near the San Antonio River and you can really see it on the other side of this case at connect when she crosses the bridge you're seeing that heavy and fast water. And that's one thing that with the flash flooding and when you get such heavy amounts of rain, you can even see little white rapids on sometimes with the water when you're getting such high amounts of water falling in such a little amount of time. Now with flash flooding, it's you're just getting regular rainfall, but when you get such heavy amount of rain, you can just be driving and the water comes out of nowhere. That's why anytime we see or hear about flash flooding, we always want to emphasize how dangerous it can be. Now for humans, it only takes about six inches of water to lose your balance or to even get swept away for a smaller car only about 12 inches for a bigger SUV or even a truck. It can take just 18 to two feet. Now, once again, some scenarios, if you see water, that's why we always say turn around, don't drown. But with flash flooding, you can just be raining and then all of a sudden you get such heavy amount of rain that the creeks start to overflow, some roads start to as well. And that's why we always want to tell you about the impacts with flash flooding and why they're so important to listen to your local meteorologist, especially because excessive rainfall rates raises the streams much like in little bits like the creek, like you saw at Beto Creek. And even then, even if you don't live near a creek with the heavy rainfall rates, it can just accumulate on the ground. And that's another reason why flash flooding is so dangerous at times because it can take a little while for the storm drains to really start to get back to where they were. We got reports yesterday afternoon with still localized flooding at times. So we always want to stress if you can turn around or find a safe route with flash flooding.